Hey there, this is Mini Bust Reviews coming at you with our first episode. Episode 1 is going to be about this beautiful Thor bust in front of me. Now, I just created this channel and I'm hoping it's going to pick up soon because I have about 20 or 30 busts in my collection alone in which I'm all going to review one by one. Starting with, of course, my favorite one, which I just got as a birthday gift from my fiance. And it's none other than Thor. Now, this has to be the most articulated bust in all my collection. And also probably the biggest in terms of scale. Um, I mean, this has to be my favorite bust just because of I love the articulation, I love the detail, and the fact that Gentle Giant took no they wasted no time or no effort in showing the full detail of this bust I mean it's just pure bad ass as you can see um, I'm not sure how I'm, I want to really review them in terms of like I don't know because I watched a few other people's videos and you know, they sound all damn formal but I just want this to be a video about mini busts, about my opinion in terms of how I like them or not. And of course, that's why there's a comment section so y'all can comment as well on what y'all think. But this one has to be my favorite as of right now, just because it's, it's massive. Like, I'll give you a, a, a just size comparison. This is, um, this is a Hot Wheels, like see, see how small the Hot Wheels is, and this is like, I mean for Hot Wheels car, this is a big package, and this store is humongous. Now, um, what's really cool I think about this is the fact that so few of them were actually made. As you can see, this is number 50 of 720, that's kind of an odd random number, actually even number, but. Um, yeah, just 720 of these were made, and my girlfriend, or my fiancé, got it for a hell of a price. Like, I'm sure this thing was, oh, man. Actually, yeah, this thing came brand new in the, in the box, brand new in the package. I'm sure when it came out, it originally must have cost 100 bucks at least, maybe 150. She got this for $55, including shipping. So, as you can see, Actually, hold on. let me show you the box for the actual bust. It is, it's a huge box. It's the biggest bust box I've, I've had so far. Just cause how big, how wide the Thor bust is. As you can see, like it says it's 7.5 inches tall. Gentle giant, of course. Um, basically, if you want quality, you get Gentle Giant, but if you want variety and more affordable, you go with Bowen. Bowen Designs. Bowen does almost all superhero um, mini busts. Um, Gentle Giant is known for, at least for me, it's known for their Star Wars line, which I do have a couple from them as well. but. If you, if you look at the Thor Bowen mini busts, they're just not that that great. Like, half the busts from Bowen are missing arms and shit. This one is like fucking beautifully articulated. Now, there's a reason I really wanted this one. Because um, for the next episode, I'll start out by showing you one of my walls in my room of how the arrangement I have. But just to tell you about it, basically... Um, I have four The Mighty Thor issues hanging on frames and on above uh, a, a, a display like cabinet with busts on it. And in those issues are the first appearances of Beta Ray Bill, Beta Ray Bill, and the first appearances of Curse. And if you don't know who Curse is or Beta Ray Bill, I mean, honestly, I don't know the full background, but but basically, Beta Ray Bill is some horse looking dude who um, he first finds um, 
Mjolnir, and uh, he, he gains the power of Thor, and um, he eventually gets his own hammer, like some kind of gold-looking axe hammer thing, but basically, I have the, the amazing, the mighty Thor issue 223, I think, maybe it's 233, is first appearance of Beta Ray Bill, and then Curse was the villain in the new Thor the Dark World movie. And uh, he looks completely different than in the comic, which is fine with me, because in the comic he looks kind of strange. In the movies, he's he's awesome, which I need to see again, by the way. Um, but yeah, so my plan hopefully is, I mean, I'm tr I'm trying to save up money so I can actually afford them. But I would ideally love to have the um, mini busts of Curse and Beta Ray Bill, which are both by Bowen. And surprisingly, they're actually pretty good looking. Ooh, and then uh, just a few weeks ago, I, I found an issue of Thor fighting Juggernaut on the cover, which is badass. That's a fucking awesome matchup. So, um, and I saw that uh, Gentle Giant is making a uh, Juggernaut mini bus that comes out in June. It's going to be pricey, but I'm hoping I can get my hands on it soon. Um, so anyway, I guess to finish up this review... Um, Trust me, not, not all reviews are going to be about me ranting. I'm actually going to go into detail. I, I might even do it, include the Thor in another uh, review. But as you can see, like, I love the, I love the articulation on his cape. Uh, the fact that the cape almost, the cape makes up as part of the, the base of the statue. So, um, you know, the metal shingle things on his arm looks, looks, look metal shingle things on his arm look good sorry <laughs> um yeah like it's just his clothing the, i mean I, i'm almost afraid to touch his thing so much because i'll fucking break it um the only thing my only complaint about this i would say is that his hammer mjolnir does not have the um little like hand strap on the bottom of it it's just it's just the the grip bar he doesn't like his you know, Thor is famous, and even though in the movies, he's famous for swinging his hammer around. He can't exactly do that with this hammer. So, but regardless of that, it's still a fucking awesome piece. It's it's really heavy too. So, 